Hey, what's up? My name is Gabby. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm gonna be doing a pretty large book haul You know, it's been a while since I've done a book haul So I've just been accumulating so many books that I'm so excited to tell you about but before we do jump into the book haul I just wanted to say a huge thank you to today's sponsor Which is top cash back which I feel like is one of the best sponsors to have on a book haul You know because I'm sure you would love to know a way that you can save some money while you're shopping online It's literally so easy and so simple to use top cash back You literally just go to their website you create a profile you sign up which is completely free to do by the way and from there you just start browsing a bunch of different places where you might shop from They have this little bar at the top of the screen where you can scroll through all the different things They offer like airlines car rentals cruises bed and bath technology fashion beauty like there's literally something there for everyone they also have a browser extension, which is super easy to set up. You just install it as an extension on your Google Chrome. And the most exciting part is that they do have a few different bookish websites that you can earn some cash back when you shop through those websites. Like earning money back when you are spending money on books. Does that not sound like the ideal situation? They've got thriftbooks.com, they've got book of the month, and they have Chronicle Books where you can earn cash back when you spend money on those websites. So I was able to shop through Thriftbooks. You just go through Top Cashback's website and then shop through Thriftbooks. I went in there and I spent $28 on thriftbooks.com and then with my 3% cashback, the next day I got a notification letting me know that I had 56 cents in my account, which I know that doesn't sound like a lot, you know? It doesn't sound like a lot when you hear it's only 50 cents, but with how often you might spend money on books online, that can definitely add up quickly. And whether or not it's a little cashback or a lot of cashback, Back, I mean cash back money back is a really cool thing But there are so many different kinds of websites that you can browse through top cash back and some of them have up to 10% cash back Which means that if you spent like $10 on something you would get a dollar in cash back, which is pretty awesome They have over 4,000 different retailers on topcashback.com and they offer 100% of their commission back to their members. And because of that, they consistently feature higher rates than their competitors. There's also a $10 sign-up bonus when you spend your first $25 on topcashback.com. So yeah, you can start saving some money and earning some cash back today when you use the link at the top of my description to download topcashback.com. And once again, it's completely free to sign up. So it makes sense, you know, start earning money back on all that money you're putting towards your books. And thank you so much once again to Top Cashback for sponsoring today's video. And now let's get into the book haul. Okay, so onto the books. I wanted to show you some of the books that I got from the May book of the month thing, but because I just showed you them recently in a video, I'll just go through them very quickly. I just have four that I kind of want to show you that I'm really excited about because Breathless is one of the thriller selections and this one just sounds really interesting. All I know is that it's about a journalist who's like trapped on a mountain with a killer. Just sounds like it'll be like a very intense survival story that takes place on a snowy mountain and it sounds like a nightmare of a situation but a very fun read. I also have Yerba Buena by Nina LaCour and this is one that I'm very excited about. I'm actually hoping to read this one this month because I really love Nina LaCour's writing. She usually writes young adult books actually and this is her first adult fiction novel and so I'm just very curious about it. I do have the audiobook for this as well so I'm hoping to get to this one this month. And then they had the Hacienda as one of the picks in May which I'm so freaking excited that this is a selection because this is a book that I've been highly anticipating. It's like a thriller horror novel. It actually compares itself to Mexican Gothic meets Rebecca in the little premise here and it says in this debut supernatural suspense novel set in the aftermath of the mexican war of independence about a remote house a sinister haunting and the woman pulled into their clutches it just sounds like it's gonna be a really fun time like what the heck i love anything that deals with like a sinister haunted house kind of vibe and it just sounds like if it's similar to mexican gothic like okay sign me up and then also um part of your world by abby jimenez this is a romance novel that i've been super intrigued by mainly because i think i heard that there's like a really Really big age gap in this romance novel. I think the woman is like 10 years older than the love interest dude in this book and that just really intrigues me and also it's really cool because she's an ER doctor from what I heard so like I don't know there's a few things in this book that really intrigue me and I have read I'm pretty sure I've read every book that this author has published so far so I'm definitely curious in checking this one out as well. Also wanted to show from book of the month they sent me two backlist titles recently because it was really sweet because book 
book of the month asked if they could repost my photo on their Instagram and I was like yeah of course and they were like okay well we'll send you one of our backlist books as like you know compensation for reposting one of my photos and they were like which one would you want and I was like oh well I was like if you have um crying in H Mart or blacktop wasteland like either one of those would be super cool and they freaking sent me both because they're freaking so sweet like I literally have the best relationship with book of the month they're just so kind to me and I appreciate them so much um, but yeah, Crying in H Mart is one of the books they sent to me and I actually already read this in April right after they sent it because as soon as I got my hands on this, I was like, oh my god, yes. Because this is a, you know, nonfiction memoir that I've been highly anticipating for a long time and it's just about this woman who, you know, it's mostly about her dealing with the grief of losing her mother and, you know, struggling with her identity as a Korean American and there's just so much great discussion in this book. It was a five-star read for me. It made me very emotional because I cannot even deal with reading books about losing your mom like I can't as someone who's like super close to my mom It's just really hard for me to read books like this, but god. It was so good. It was so beautiful And then they also sent blacktop wasteland by S.A. Cosby, which I'm so excited about this one Especially because of you know how much I enjoyed razor blade tears I am down to read anything from from S.A. Cosby after loving razor blade tears as much as I did So I'm really excited to get to this one. I hope to get to it soon this this one, it says it's about a husband, a father, a son, a business owner, and the best getaway driver east of the Mississippi. Next up, I just wanted to show you two books that I got sent from Flatiron Books because I emailed them and I like, I begged them for these two books. I was like, please, I was like, if you have any review copies available, can I please have one? And they didn't respond to my email, so I was like, oh shit, okay, like, that's cool. I thought they were ignoring me. Um, but then I got both of them in the mail, like, a week or two later, and I was like, holy crap. Um, so one of them was Hidden pictures by Jason Reculik. This one just went on sale May 3rd and this is one that I begged them for because I was like this sounds like everything that I need in a book and I actually ended up reading this during Spring Flingoween and I really enjoyed it so I'm glad that it worked out. Um, but this is a kind of like thriller horror book that's about this woman named Mallory who is fresh out of rehab and she takes this babysitting job where she's gonna be babysitting this kid named Teddy and Teddy is drawing all these like creepy ass photos and he's talking about his imaginary friend, which is also super creepy. And there are photos throughout this book that are kind of like creepy, you know, like childish drawings that are just, you know, it's a cool, it's a cool experience to read this book physically because there's a lot of artwork included in this book. And I just had such a great time. So like, thank you so much to Flatiron Books for being so cool. And then they also sent Daisy Darker by Alice Feeney, which like, holy shit, I'm so excited. Like so excited for this. This one's coming out in August and it's, you know, the most recent read from Alice Feeney, which, you know, after Rock, Paper, Scissors, I'm like, sign me the fuck up. I will read anything Alice Feeney writes, okay? Like she has gone to the top of my list. I don't even know too much about this book to be honest I just know we're following this family in this book and it says with a wicked wink to Agatha Christie Daisy Darker's unforgettable twist will leave readers reeling it also mentions that they're uh it's like a it follows a family and they're like trapped on an island where someone is killing them one by one <laughs> like what the heck Sounds so cool. Sign me up. I'm so excited. Like, I hope I love this. I'm obsessed with this cover. It's so beautiful. I know everybody says that this cover looks exactly like every other thriller cover out there, but like, I don't even care. I'm a sucker for this cover style. Like, I'm here for it. And then HTP Books recently sent me So Happy For You by Celia Lasky, and this one goes on sale June 7th. This is a thriller. That sounds like it's gonna be so fun because it says it's a wedding weekend spirals out of control in this electrifying novel about the the complexities of friendship. So I'm excited because I personally, I love books that follow weddings. Like, I don't even know why. I'm not the most romantic person. I don't even know if I want to get married ever, but I just love reading about weddings for some reason. I just think they're so entertaining. And I also do love reading about, you know, toxic female friendships, like if that's the vibe. And I just have a feeling that this is going to be a fun time. You know, like I just have this gut feeling that it's going to be a roller coaster. Also recently Amazon Publishing sent me this female female romance that I have never even heard of before and it's can't it's called Can't Resist Her and this is one that's coming out July 19th so this one's an ARC copy but oh my gosh what the heck I've never even heard of this 
and it looks so freaking cute. It says on the back, two very determined women in love at odds and risking a lot on a second chance. So it's saying, after years away from home, we follow this main protagonist named Summer who's back in Austin, Texas to accept a new teaching position. And then it looks like the love interest is on the architectural team revitalizing the neighborhood. And then she sees Summer again. Some things never change. Ooh, so it seems like they were together senior year of high school or something like that. And now they are meeting again for the first time. How exciting. I've just like never heard of this and the cover just looks like super cute. So I'm excited. I'm also so excited because I wanted to show you the kind author, Eric LaRocca. They sent me their new book, You've Lost a Lot of Blood, which is a short story horror collection. It's kind of, it's hard to explain because this is a novella within a novella, but it's all horror. And um, if you didn't know, this is the same author as Things Have Gotten Worse Since We Last Spoke. And I did read this book during Spring Flingoween and it was a freaking time. But I'm so grateful that they sent me this book because um, I really enjoyed it. Like I enjoyed this so much. I'm planning to read all of their future works because this was so freaking interesting. I love the idea of like a novella within a novella and the main story that we're following is between these two boyfriends and one of them is thinking that he wants to kill his boyfriend and then in the novella we get a short story that one of them has written which is called You've Lost a Lot of Blood so we kind of get this story within the story and it was just a freaking time like if you want to see more of my thoughts I'll have my spring flingoween reading vlog down below where I read this but this was a freaking trip okay like this book was just so wild i'm also really excited because penguin random house sent me this book called out there by kate folk and this one is also one that i was really excited about because it's a collection of short stories and they're all sci-fi related it actually um on the back of this book it compares it to black mirror or like these short stories kind of feel like black mirror episodes i actually did try to read this in the month of april and i only got 57 pages in but this is definitely one that i can see myself coming back to in the future and trying to read again because i just wasn't in the mood i think when i picked this one up but this sounds so interesting and i love the idea of like sci-fi short stories because you know as i said i've been trying to get more into short stories recently and i think sci-fi and horror are the two genres that really do well with like the short story format so i'm definitely excited to pick up this one again in the future and my god like this cover is this not one of the most beautiful book covers you've ever seen like i just can't i can't get over that it's stunning i quickly wanted to go over a few library reads because i just want to remind you that even though it's fun to go and buy books and spend money on books it's also fun to go and support your local library and i think it's amazing you know how much money you can save just by going to your local library and seeing if they have books available that you're wanting to read and it helps support you know your community and your library so anyways some of the books that i've recently checked out from my library include include Feelings, which this is a uh, non-fiction graphic novel that I just recently read. I actually did read this during Spring Flingoween, um, but yeah, this is beautiful. It's stunning. It's just amazing. Like, the artwork in this is so pretty, and I love that this is like a non-fiction graphic novel that's kind of about, you know, depression and anxiety and how that can change throughout the seasons, and it kind of talks about mental health throughout the year and how, like, the weather and the time of year can also affect your mental health. It was just a really beautiful and informative and educational graphic novel, and I just loved it. Like, the colors are just beautiful. It's, like, one of my favorite graphic novels that I've read. So yeah, I highly recommend checking it out. I also recently just checked out Yoke from my library because this is one that I'm hoping to read this month. And all I really know about this is that it's like a young adult um, novel that's about sisters, I think is like mainly all I know about it. And then I also checked out Tokyo Ever After, which this one is a romance novel that kind of sounds like it's gonna be like Princess Diaries or something, honestly. <laughs> because this one's like a young adult and it follows a uh, Japanese American and she's being raised by her single mother and then she finds out her unknown father's identity and it turns out he's the crown prince of Japan. So she's basically a princess. So it's basically like Princess Diaries and I'm so excited to read this. Oh, it sounds so cute. Okay, next up, I have Berkeley Romance sent me four books recently that are romance books. Like, I swear the romance books for me are stacking up. But I'm so excited to let you know about these. Um, One of the ones they sent is Delilah Green Doesn't Care by Ashley Herring Blake. And this is one that I read in the month of March. 
I believe. And this one was a fun time, you know, it's a female, female romance. And this is actually um, Ashley Herring Blake. She's written previously only young adult novels, if I'm correct. And then this was her first, you know, adult romance. But I know she has another adult romance coming out later this year, I think too. So that's exciting. But this one, you know, we're following this woman named Delilah and she's a photographer in New York, you know, nothing but vibes. She's got tattoos and stuff. She's this bad B right here. And then it's a romance between Delilah and then this woman named Claire and then Claire is one of her like sister's best friends that she meets and the main reason why she's in town is because she's going to be like photographing her sister's wedding and so that's kind of how she gets involved in the situation and this book was cute it wasn't like my all-time fave but it was still a good time and then they sent the romantic agenda which if you didn't know this is one of my most anticipated romances because it involves an asexual main character and so we have our main character, Joy, who's 30, flirty, and asexual. And the thing is that she's secretly in love with her best friend, Malcolm. And then Malcolm wants to date Summer. And then Summer is in love with Love. And Fox is Summer's ex-boyfriend. And then this is kind of about how the four of them all take this little, like, cute trip together. And then it involves, like, fake dating. It involves, like, all kinds of shenanigans that I just love, okay? If you can't tell from the side over here, I did already read this book. And I'm including it in an upcoming reading vlog so you'll hear all my thoughts then but like uh and then they also did send if you ask me which this one's another romance that just looks so freaking adorable on the back here it just says when an advice columnist picture perfect life implodes she opts to go rogue in this hilarious heartwarming romance and so our main protagonist girl she has this really popular advice column in the state of north carolina and then she meets a smoking hot firefighter named des honestly that's all i really need to know it sounds like it's gonna be one of those like cute you know like small town romances and whenever there's a firefighter involved i'm like just immediately add it to the tbr you know like that's just how this works and then they also sent business not as usual which is another romance book there's so many romance books you know as i said there's so many romances on the back it says a woman learns the hard way about mixing business with pleasure Ooh, that's so cool i guess the love interest in this book his father is an a-list actor i think it has business in the title because they're both involved in like different businesses and perhaps we have an office romance happening in this one and then atria books was kind enough to send me three different books the one that i'm most excited about you know most intrigued about is this one called chef's kiss which is coming out may 3rd and it's by tj alexander and this one i'm excited about because it says a high strung pastry chef's professional Professional goals are interrupted by an unexpected career transition and the introduction of her wildly attractive non-binary kitchen manager in this deliciously fresh and witty queer rom-com. So it kind of reminds me of the premise of that other book, Love and Other Disasters, at least with the way that we have like food, like something with food happening and a non-binary love interest. But because I wasn't the biggest fan of that book, like the other book was like a three star for me. So I'm hoping that this book will be everything that I wanted from Love and Other Disasters. And then they also sent me two books by Jennifer Weiner, which is pretty exciting because I've read a few Jennifer Weiner books now and I've always really enjoyed them. And they sent that summer, which I believe this one must, must have been, you know, publishing in paperback or something. Yeah, it looks like this one actually came out in 2021, but I think the paperback version just came out. So they sent this cute little pink paperback and then this one is her newest release called the summer place and this one comes out may 10th so very soon here so that summer says that it's about the funny story of two strangers who find they can only move forward by confronting their shared past oh so it looks like they both take place on the beaches of the outer cape so it looks like they both take place in the same area but i don't think they follow the same characters oh my gosh the first line of this just sounds so funny when her 22 year old stepdaughter announces her engagement to her pandemic boyfriend sarah is shocked they set a date that's only three months away oh okay so we're talking about another wedding are we i do love books that take place with weddings in them and also that's interesting i didn't realize that um you know the pandemic was gonna be involved in this story so very intrigued by both of these if you've read either of these then i would love to know your thoughts on them also i did want to show you because how freaking kind my friends zach and danielle i was recently on an episode of their podcast and after i was on the episode they sent me a book off my amazon wish list and they sent me best day ever which this is a thriller novel and unfortunately <laughs> this one didn't end up working out for me i actually read this book and i gave it one star but i still really appreciate the gesture is very sweet um 
this book just involves this couple. We're basically following this couple throughout an entire day. So like the beginning of the book, it'll start at like 11 a.m. and then it'll be like counting down the hours throughout the book. So it all takes place on one day. And we're following this man named Paul and then his wife, Mia, and it's just the two of them, you know, they're talking about their lives, talking about their children. And I just personally was not a big fan of this book. <laughs> but like, thank you so much to my kind friends for sending it to me. And then the last four books that I have to show you are all books that I have purchased for myself very recently. Um, the first two came from Half Price Books. I do not have half price books near me, sadly. I have to travel like an hour and a half just to get to the closest half price books. But you know, sometimes every now and then it's worth it to go. You know, it really is because I found Shiver by Allie Reynolds. I found this hardcover that's in like nearly perfect condition there for $10. So I mean, yeah, it's kind of worth the trip. But this is a thriller that I'm really, I'm hoping to read this one soon because it just sounds incredible. I've been hearing such great things about this from my friends. Um, and it says a reunion weekend in the French Alps turns deadly as five friends discover that someone has stranded them at their remote mountain resort during a snowstorm. It sounds like it could be similar to One by One by Ruth Ware, but I'm hoping it's like way better and like everything that I wanted from One by One. But like, oh my God, I love the trope of like, isolation like getting stuck at a snowy cabin kind of thing and then there's like murder and then i also got you've reached sam because this is a young adult novel that i've just heard so many great things about especially from my friend Elle. she's like a huge fan of this book and um this one it just says a heartfelt novel about love and loss and what it means to say goodbye i think this one deals a lot with grief Oh gosh, I didn't even read the premise here, but it says it follows this 17 year old girl named Julie Clark who has her future all planned out and then her boyfriend Sam dies. What the fuck? Okay, so now I'm questioning all of my life choices. That sounds so sad. I think part of the reason too why I wanted to buy this because like I could have just gotten this from my library, but also look at this shit. Like this is stunning. I love when books like go the extra mile and do something really cool on the physical copy that makes it worth buying. <laughs> so yeah, and this is one that I found at Half Price Books also for about $10 and this copy is beautiful and brand new and I'm obsessed. So I'm hoping to read this one in the month of May as well. And then I also bought the Mindfuck series off of Amazon because I had a lot of people asking me where I was able to find it because I guess it's kind of a unique find or something, but it was on Amazon and I got this for uh, $30, which I know it sounds like a lot, but there's five stories within this collection. So you're kind of paying for five books for only 30 bucks so when you think of it that way it's kind of actually pretty cheap but yeah this is the mindfuck series if you haven't heard of it it's a thriller romance kind of series and i actually did an entire vlog dedicated to reading all five of these books so if you're curious about it at all i'll have the vlogs linked down below that you can check out because this book series was a freaking roller coaster it was a trip and it was a pretty fun time so yeah I, i'm glad i ended up buying this one because i don't know i just like owning the physical books you know like it would be easy to read this book on an e-reader but at the same time like i just like having the physical copy you know and then the last book that i most recently bought is battle royale um because this is one that i am planning to read in the month of may i'm planning to read this one very soon here and this is one that i'm so excited to finally get to read because i've been wanting to read this for such a long time. Like this book has been on my TBR for a while. And if you didn't know anything about this book, it's a Japanese thriller that follows this class of junior high school students that where they're taken to a deserted island where as part of a ruthless authoritarian program, they are provided arms and forced to kill one another until only one survivor is left standing. What? <laughs> it sounds crazy. It just sounds so cool. So, you know, I'm very hyped, very excited to read this one. <laughs> all right, well, those are all of the books that I have hauled recently in the last month or so, but also also, I just feel like there's so many like new releases coming out and everything too that I'm just like so tempted. I'm so tempted like the new Emily Henry just came out and I'm like probably gonna buy that because I need it. I need it in my hands. But yeah, let me know if you've hauled any good books recently. Let me know all the deets and don't forget to use the link in my description to check out topcashback.com and start earning some money back. You know, start saving some money on books and earning cash back when you do spend money online on books because that's the best, you know? Like what's better than that? And thank you so much for hanging out and for watching and I will see you very soon with another video. Bye.